guys, welcome back to my channel. I thought I'd do a really quick video today to show you how I package up all my orders. Um, it works for me, so it might work for you. Um, I'm, so I'm just going to show you through the process of how I do it and also show you some of the supplies that I use and where I buy them from. I do really want to quickly say thank you very much for 500 sales on Etsy. Like it's blown my mind that I've actually reached 500. I started this um, little business back in June 2019 and no way did I think that I would be ending the year with 500 sales but it's just been absolutely crazy so thank you very much for all your support. Um, yeah I'm completely blown away. I'm so busy um, but I love it and we're trying really hard to get everyone's orders out in good time for Christmas. So I'm going to sort of show you how I kind of package up all my orders. I mean, I can't really explain how I do it, but I think what I'll do is I'll take you through the process of how I kind of set it up so I kind of know what's going on. I know it looks a bit like a mess, but I know what's going on here. You've got a few orders all in the right places. Um, but I'll show you how so we I do it. So I write notes from my Etsy orders out onto a sheet of paper because I often do film myself um, packaging up to pop on TikTok or YouTube. So you can see here that I write the name and what they've ordered. So W slash G is white and gold, black and gold. Um, if I have any silver, I think I just put S. Um, but I know what's going on here. So I just start from the top and work my way Once down. I know where I'm going. I start off left to right so I know Nicola was having two white and gold ones so I will take these over to my packing station as it were but it's just a messy messy table so from here once I've put them onto my tissue paper I just grab my scratch and shine spray from resonate I'll pop a link below where you can get these and um, they also come with these cloths I'm so out of breath I just ran upstairs to go and get stuff. And I'm so out of breath. I'm so unfit. Whew. But, <laughs> um, so, two seconds. So yeah, along with using those, I also use a bit of nail polish remover because sometimes I have like stubborn, like paint marks on the back of it that don't come off great. But that, with a bit of acetone, works really, really well. So any, any nail polish will do. Then I just pop the thank you note in along with the coasters and these envelopes come with a sticky part so you can stick that down and then it is all good to go. And once I've done that I just take it off and move on to the next it one. It kind of makes sense now so the next one was two cheese, two white ones um, and then I just head over to my workspace again. So here are all the orders that I've completed today and then I'm just going to head off to the post office quickly. So I'm back here again with today's orders that are going out. Look how amazing these are by the way. These are like a custom order. I really like them. Very different. Got some blue ones today, some gold detail, some silver detail, white and silvers, white and golds. So I'm going to start packaging these up for the day. So here's where I get a few of my bits and pieces when I'm packaging up. So I get my thank you cards from Canva. Um, you can select how many you want. However, it is slightly quite expensive. So what I've done in the past is actually get these done by free prints. So you only pay for the delivery, which is only like £2 something. But I decided to go to, for Canva because I had to get loads for Christmas time, so I got them from Canva this time. Tissue paper, I really get tissue paper from anywhere I go, so if I'm out shopping in like Tesco's or B&M or Home Bargains, I pick up some tissue paper. But as you can see, bargain, 49p. Um, and then they always run out of pink in B&M, which I get really annoyed about. But luckily I found a pink the other day and I brought all of them. Stickers, we make our stick stickers. Um, in like the studio we print it out on sticker paper and then use the Cricut machine just to cut out the circles um this obviously saves a lot more money because we were 
buying them from Avery before, um, but now this is a lot cheaper for us. And then the bubbled envelopes, I've just made a dent in that from my elbow. I get A5 uh, bubble envelopes and also A4. These are great, really nice color as well. They've got so many colors on there, so have a look. Um, these are really good for posting out our coasters. However, if we have to post out like one of our decorative tray or anything, then I will use a box, but nine times out of 10, um, it's always coasters. So these are ideal. I'll pop a big link below where you can buy these envelopes because like I said, these are really good to be fair. Um, and so many different colors that would suit your small business as well. Just a little tip as well, and I'm gonna tell you, Joanna told me to do it so she can take all the credit, but just fold your ends um, up so it's a little bit neater, because if you just fold like that, it's gonna look a bit dodgy, isn't it? So yeah, just nice packaging. Everyone appreciates nice packaging nowadays. So Joanna told me how to do this. So there you go, Joe. I followed your instructions. So here's the first batch that I've done, ready to go out to the post office. Um, what I'll do is I'll go to the post office, pop them in the post, and then I'm gonna come back and make some more coasters, paint some more, and hopefully by the end of today, my post office closes at six. So hopefully I can do one more drop today, um, but it's good that I'm actually doing it in two batches because the queues at the post office is horrendous at the moment because it's Christmas time and literally it's so cold as well you have to queue outside so hopefully this won't slow down the queue because I do get some looks sometimes but I think I've only got about nine here at the moment so that's pr that's pretty good for me. Hope you enjoyed today's video. I told you it was going to be a short one, short and sweet, just to show you how I package up all my orders. Hopefully it helps some small businesses. Um, maybe it gives an insight to my customers of what I do behind the scenes. Um, but I would really appreciate if you could like this video and subscribe to my channel. I'd love you very much. Thank you very much for coming back, guys. See you later.